Ahead of the voting of on confidence motion proposed by Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal legislators of both Aam Aadmi Party and the BJP continued overnight protest at Delhi assembly accusing each other of corruption Aap's MLA have alleged a scam of rupees for 1400 crore in 2016 when Lieutenant Governor Vinay Kumar Saxena was Khadi and Village Industries Commission chairman BJP legislators are demanding the sacking of ministers Manish Sisodia and Satyendra Jain over alleged corruption singing songs and raising slogans against the lieutenant governor aap mla squatted near the mahatma gandhi statue at the assembly while bjp mla staged their dharana near the statues of bhagat singh rajguru and sukhdev the gujarat government on monday told the supreme court that there is a strong case made out against the social rights activist tista sitalwad for some of the most serious offenses whereby criminal conspiracy were hatched for and by fabricating false evidence with a clear intention to get to get a conviction of several persons for capital punishment in the 2002 gujarat riots case the affidavit of the gujarat government stated that the fir against ms sitalwad for falsifying evidence related to the riots is not solely based on a top court judgment but is backed by evidence it is said that the investigating agency has collected sufficient material which shows that ms sitalwad not only wields a substantial influences herself and through the several other persons protecting her for their own personal interest but is found to be exercising such influence over witnesses since 2002 onwards it is submitted that such influence is by using money as well as administrating or getting the threats administered tensions prevailed in gujarat wadodara after members of two communities clashed and threw stones at each other when a procession carrying an idol of lord ganesha was passing through a sensitive locality on monday night Heavy police was deployed in the area to bring down the law and order situation under control and the idol was taken to the pandal peacefully meanwhile an fir was registered in vadodara city police station against members of both sides on charges of rioting and unlawful assembly police said the police have so far detained 13 people in connection with the clash which broke out on monday late night news agency pti reported no one was injured in the stone pelting In a sharp attack on Congress Party Janata Party national president JP Nadda on Monday claimed that the grand old party was losing ground because it failed to reconcile local and national objectives why did congress the nation's oldest party continue to shrink why it has been weaker due to the lack of integration between local and national aspiration mr nadda said attacking the opposition further the bjp said that people who have been associated with the party for more than 40 years are leaving because they are realized it is a family party. party only people who have been congress party for more than 40 years are leaving the party these people have now realized that the congress party is now just a family gathering and is no longer a national or state level mr nadda said India China relationship will depend on the state of the border Union External Affairs Minister S J Shankar said on Monday in a message to China amid the lingering military standoff between the two countries on a number of friction points in eastern Ladakh Jay Shankar said sovereignty and territorial integrity will have to be respected initiatives that particular should be transparent viable and market based Jay Shankar was speaking at the launch of Asia Society Policy Institute he said much of the future of Asia depends on how relations between India and China develop in foreseeable future and that the continent lacks a agreed architecture of any nature